Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, there has been some notes from the oculoplastic surgeon who treated Daniel Dubois. This is what he had to say. I have explained to Mr. Dubois, it was fortunate the fight was stopped when he sustained the fracture. Otherwise, there was risk of a further trauma that could have caused potentially career-ending double vision. So, there we go, that is what he has had to say about that injury sustained by Daniel Dubois. Potentially career-ending double vision. So, ultimately... Daniel Dubois made the right choice at the right time, and that is what he should have done. I think we can all agree on that. There was no reason why Daniel Dubois should have continued considering what he was going through in that ring. Now, obviously he can come back, but it's going to take probably four to six months before he makes his comeback. So he won't be back in the ring anytime soon, I don't believe. But then again, that is not the important thing at the moment. The important thing is that Daniel Dubois rests up, heals up, and then he will be able to come back. That is the journey at the moment, and it's not just the physical injuries, it's the mental and emotional injuries also, because that can't have been easy for Daniel Dubois, losing his first fight of his career, especially at the age of 23. But it won't mean all that much when he looks back in, say, 10 years' time, because I think that Daniel Dubois will definitely have a great career. It's just, he's not there yet. He needs to learn how to adjust in fights and make subtle adjustments during the fight. So, those are things that maybe Daniel Dubois doesn't need to work on, and those are things that he can work on. I mean, the thing going into this fight was, Daniel Dubois can take a loss better than at Joe Joyce, because the question is, where does Joe Joyce go? If he's not good enough at this level, then where does he go from here? Can he learn a little bit more? Can he change? Not really, I mean, he is at 35, but age doesn't mean huge amounts, especially in the heavyweight division, but still, the general consensus was that Daniel Dubois can take a loss better than at Joe Joyce, and I still believe that, I think that Daniel Dubois can take this loss and I think that he can come back better. Now will this be a permanent injury or weakness to Daniel Dubois? Well, the problem was in the Joe Joyce fight is he was getting caught too many times in the same place. Joe Joyce was targeting that eye, especially when he saw it starting to swell, he realised that that is the place to target because that is where he can cause the most damage, and it worked, it got the stoppage, pinpoint accuracy from Joe Joyce. So what Dubois needs to do is learn how to adjust, because if you're not getting caught with those kind of punches, then you don't have to worry about that kind of damage. So essentially, if he's able to take that jab away, then he takes away the success and a damage sustained to his eye by Joe Joyce. So those are things that Daniel Dubois does need to work on, and the injury would not have been so severe if he was able to do that. There's no shame in it, there's no harm in it, he can learn from it. And especially considering the fight was stopped when it was, Daniel Dubois is able to come back. And I hope that those who are giving Daniel Dubois stick see this and understand that he saved his career and potentially his sight by making that decision. Those who are saying he quit and he should have continued. Well, had he done that, then he could have ended his career in the ring against Joe Joyce. So he was well justified in making that decision. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.